Raw sewage spewing into our seas. Raw sewage, I'm not going to say anything more than that. Apologies for my slip earlier. It's the public health methods which is polluting our precious waterways with water company 7 Trent, the latest to face punishment. In this case, a £2 million fine. Well, comedian Joe Lysett is on a mission to highlight Britain's stinking sewage crisis. Uh, he has a new documentary, Joe Lysett versus Sewage. Let's have a quick look at the show before we speak to him. Stop. Polluting this. Well, it's such an obvious message, Joe Lysett, but I know. why have you waded into this lovely, mess? Lovely imagery there. I, I've waded in um, because when I read the research on it, I did think, before I read the research, I thought lots of people are talking about this. Fergal Sharkey in particular. Fergal Sharkey's done amazing yep. work on this, but I got so angry. Oh. And when I get angry, that's a useful emotion for making these sorts of programmes. Well, previously, you got very angry with David Beckham. Of well, course, yes. Because of the World Cup being held in Qatar, yeah. You put fake money into a shredder. I did because yeah. you challenged him to step down from his role, and he didn't. Yeah. Um, so you are well known for doing kind of high-profile stunts. Let's yes. say yeah. you heckled Liz Truss when she was on the launch Laura Kunzberg program. I was very program. supportive of Liz Truss, and I continue to be. Well, it, with your tongue firmly in your cheek. That worked let's out well. Say, you would struggle to prove that. <laughs> I'm so, a very big supporter of Liz Truss. But, but you decided to take on sewage where you didn't decide to take on the post office, for instance. Yeah. Well, the post office is a story that obviously is a massive uh, issue, but I always, when I'm making these programmes, I want to make sure that I can uh, potentially make some change mm. to the situation, but also can be funny. And the post office story was so dark and there was so much... Um, so it was so sinister that I felt that I couldn't add to it. And so the drama has done brilliant work there. Um, whereas the sewage crisis, I did feel, you know, poo is funny to me. So I thought I could probably have a, have a crack at making some comedy out of it, but also try and change it. And um, you do seem to have already had an impact because you found out something interesting about the Church of England mm. and their investments in water companies. Yeah, their pensions um, have investments, quite a lot of investments in water companies. So I wrote to uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury asking if he might disinvest. Um, I, I, I discovered I had four shares in Seven Trent throughout making this programme because my dad bought some for me when I was a kid. So you were so, profiting. So I am profiting. £2.56 was my last dividend payment, I discovered. Um, I haven't actually cashed the cheque, but I might get it framed, perhaps. Um, so I've asked if the Church of England will disinvest mm. as well as, uh, as me, because I'm going to disinvest. Um, they've said that they won't yet but that they uh, won't rule it out, but they want the water companies to change. There's a regulator of what who's in charge of the price and the profits. You've got mm. the environmental agency whose job is to, to police the standards, to yeah. stop the pollution. They've got lots of powers to intervene. The government's in charge. Mm. Why do you think this has gone so wrong? What does the programme say about who's fundamentally to blame? Well, I think there's lots of people to blame. I think the big issue is years of... Um, uh, Poor investment, essentially, and that's all the companies, the government, off what environment agency, they're all to blame. But there is a simple solution, which is to put money into the, into the system and to improve the sewage network. That is a very simple solution. At the minute, uh, every time, if you're paying your monthly bills to a water company, on average, about one month of your uh, yearly bill is going straight back out as dividends. Now, that's wrong. If they're not investing in the system, they should not be paying me my £2.56 and the Church of England's pension board and all of that. They should be putting that money straight back into the system. They shouldn't be paying dividends while this situation is ongoing. We're about to speak to the Environment Secretary, Ooh. Steve Barclay. Oh, lovely. Is he here? He's not actually here. I'd no. like to have a word with him myself. What would you say to him? Where's the money? Why isn't he investing in it? Why isn't he regulating this better? It feels like there's been years of people getting away with this. And right now, I would advise don't get in the water in this country. And I live in Birmingham. I'm miles away from the sea. But the rivers are also in a real dire situation. If you're walking dogs, I think, oh, dogs love running around in poo. Mm. It's actually really dangerous for a dog to get into this water as well. Sure. So it's a huge, huge issue that we're not seemingly doing anything about. I'd love him to force better regulation and for far, far more investment in the sewage network. We were speculating whether you might want one day to become Prime Minister. I just wondered, 
Can you are imagine the, me as Prime Minister? Are the, well, it'd be great share. Are the main parties um, wooing you? Uh, worrying me. Wooing. Wooing, wooing me. They're are worrying being, me. They're definitely you, are, worrying no, me. But are you being wooed? Uh, no, I'm, I don't think anyone uh, really wants me involved. Um, so, no, they're not. Yeah, but that's, I mean, you know, democracy. Put yourself forward. I would rather just have a nice, quiet life. You can't You say haven't that. chosen a quiet life <laughs> you on national that. television. I know, I know. But Put I don't, yeah, politics forward. is a different thing, you know. You stand for election. No, I would, I would, no, thank you. Thank, you thank would you rather... For, I would rather continue to make silly programmes about poo, thank you. <laughs> uh, Joe Lysett, thanks very much indeed. And good luck at Pride this weekend, at National Student Pride. You're thank on you stage on Saturday night. That'd be yeah, great. Yes, lovely. Yeah. And Joe yeah. Lysett versus sewage. It's rather a clean title, I would say, mm. for a rather was, dirty subject. It was a subject. different title. Let's not, it might let's, have been a word that Ed said earlier. Actually. about other titles. You'll get me in trouble it's again. tonight, Channel 4, at 9 o'clock. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming in.